What's up guys, Super Dark Water on the channel. So uh, today I'm gonna review the Marvel Free Previews. Um, it's like half roast, half review. Most of it looks pretty bad, <laughs> but this this cover is cool. I love Ed McGuinness. Um, they got a little bit a little bit of work to go, but it's it's for the most part good. Um, I kind of wish this was Johnny Blaze, but I do like this Ghost Rider as well. Um, it looks like Doctor Strange got his Sorcerer Supreme powers back. We got the original Iron Man back, original Captain America back, and the original Thor back. So that's all good news. So Marvel is headed in a good direction. Um, people were complaining about beer, uh, Thor's gold arm. It's whatever. I think it looks cool. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I like really like Ed McGinnis. He did like uh, Batman, Superman in the back in the day, and he's done like Superman comics. So. Anyway, uh, so this looks, okay, did anybody see this and think it looks exactly like a, like the other Black Panther number one cover? Like, what? Did, can they not get more creative than that? But, uh, no, this, this, um, this looks kind of interesting. Intergalactic Empire of Wakanda, it could be, could be interesting if, uh, it goes somewhere. I don't know. I've never even read any Tony Easy Coast books, but I've heard bad things about him, so I don't know. That could be hit or miss. Uh, this Jim Chung, everyone was like... Talking about how great this looks, I wasn't even that stoked by it. It looked okay. It looked better. Like I said, it's got a lot of the original Marvel characters back. You know, original Wolverine. They got Gambit, uh, female-looking She-Hulk. Um, but then you got you still got like Miss Marvel and Captain Marvel looks pretty much like a teenage boy still. But you got the original Hulk, original Iron Man, and you know original Cap and Venom and Daredevil. I don't know. It's it looks better, but it's I'm still not like sold on it. If that makes sense. Um, so I guess they're just calling this a fresh start. I don't know what they're calling it. Um, but uh, yeah, so there's like a Deadpool variant cover for Avengers number one. Um, let's see what else there is. Avengers number two. So it looks like they're going to be fighting the Celestials. I'm really liking the Ed McGinnis art. Um, uh, Avengers. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about, though. They still got some, some work to do. <laughs> uh, I'm not that stoked about this whole new fresh start that Marvel's doing. It's just kind of like, okay, I'll probably pick up the same amount of Marvel books I normally pick up, which is not very many. <laughs> uh, Black Panther, nah, that's a cool cover though. This should be the main cover. I don't know why they did this again. That's cool. I, this makes me want to read the book. Um, let's see what else there is. Venom. Okay, yeah, so Venom number one. This cover looks dope. Uh, I don't know. I like the green slime from him. It was so funny. I remember my mom got me a Venom action figure when I was like seven and she didn't like the green slime coming out of his mouth. <laughs> I always thought that was funny. But yeah, I don't know. It's new. It looks like it's a new creative team. Ryan Stegman's a good artist. That that has potential. Um, but I thought that this was weird. He's like popping pills or something. I don't know what that's about. Eddie Brock. And uh, uh, this covers whatever. I, this is cool. I like Nick Bradshaw. He did. I think he did like some Aquaman covers. I really like him a lot. Um, so, and I've been keeping up with Infinity Countdown, so I'll probably pick that up. What the heck? This looks so bad. I was not stoked for that at all. It looks terrible. Um, this one looks good though. Infinity Countdown with the Turk and the Mind Stone and Daredevil. Probably pick that one up. Uh, Dark Hawk looks cool. Definitely want to check that out. And then you got the Ron Lim variant cover. Ron Lim's a great artist. He did a cover for the Black Panther Sound of the Fury. I reviewed that. Go check that review out. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is. Weapon Lost. I guess Hunt for Wolverine. I don't know. This seems kind of like another, you know, Marvel event fatigue. Like, who cares? But, okay, this is kind of funny. This is the the new Avengers. Remember from, like, the early 2000s? So, apparently, they're, like, getting back together. Uh, this, this looks like it might be good. Claws of a Killer. Uh, if Lady Deathstrike is drawn well inside the book, it probably would be good. I like Sabretooth. Doc and, eh, whatever. These, these characters are cool. Because they kind of, like, made an alliance at the end of Weapon X. Saying that they're gonna be, uh, they're gonna turn against the team, and then this I'm really excited about. This looks like it could could have potential, uh, mystery Madripoor, because it like the the women all look like women. It's all the cool X Men uh, characters looking for Wolverine. Okay, this cracked me up. I, I thought about doing a video just trying to name every single Marvel character that I could from this, but look at that. This this is insane. Um, but yeah, go go get the preview just so you can stare at that. I love Gabriel De Otto. He's an amazing artist. He did the Secret War uh, covers from a while back, like early 2000s. This is just a great image of Spider-Man. It's too bad Dan Slott's still on it, though. I don't, I don't really care about anything he's writing because he blocked me on Twitter. Uh, Despicable Deadpool 300. I kind of hope they end that series. 
with another really funny hum 300 Deadpools. It's fun to look at. It's kind of like, uh, what's that called? Where's Waldo? Uh, Iron Man number 600, Last Bendis. Um, looks pretty cool. I don't know. Looks okay. I like that they got all the different Iron Man suits on there. I really like this John Romita Jr. cover because it's classic. Alex Ross cover is cool too. Um, and I don't know. Don't really care about any Deadpool comics. It just looks whatever. Um, Captain America 701. Yeah, who cares? Mark Wade on it. I don't really care. That's a cool cover, but guarantee there's SJW BS in that. So this is apparently some old S.H.I.E.L.D. series that they're finishing off. I don't know anything about that. It looks like it could be cool. Oh, uh, I do not care about Armadeus Cho, Armadeus Bro, Gogurt Hulk. His hair is so bad. Why is he wearing like a smart watch? I thought that was so lame. Just who cares about Millennial Hulk? And this is so funny because I see Frank Cho. Uh, yeah, obviously Frank Cho's a good artist, but I don't care about this character. I see Frank Cho drawing like all these women on his Instagram and he does like these pencil sketches. It was funny, he didn't, they didn't like fix his art. It's just still a pencil sketch on the face. I thought that was, that was so funny. Um, Quicksilver No Surrender. I thought this was Bill Sienkiewicz, but it's not, it's a different artist. Um, Avengers no or Champions number 20, who cares? Looks stupid. Uh, and then you got like the young guns that they're advertising. Okay, Old Man Logan. I mean, Old Man Hawkeye, go read this comic. It's so good. I've been reviewing it. Go check out my reviews. Um, yeah, so finally, the female Thor is dead. Venomized number five finally comes out. Like I said, Spectacular Spider-Man, they always have dope covers, but the insides are always filled with SJW Guardian. I don't care about. Scarlet Spider, yeah, I'm not going to read that. Maybe I'll pick it up and trade. I like Scarlet Spider, but I just don't trust any of the Marvel books, you know what I mean? Um, oh yeah, Punisher War Machine, that's an awesome cover. Definitely can't wait to pick that up. I've been keeping up with that. Uh, Human Torch and The Thing, obviously, it's been great, so pick that one up. Go check out my reviews for that. Daredevil, what are these covers? They look trash. They look like they're zoomed in or something. I don't understand. And I'm so sick of Deadpool variants. Like, can we be done with the Deadpool variants? Um... A lot of Marvel is just event fatigue and just different types of fatigue. Number one fatigue, Deadpool fatigue. You know what I mean? Uh, Falcon cover looks cool. The inside's probably trash. Old Man Hawkeye number five. Look at that. This this explains it all. Like this is just looks so cool. Like they're doing something different. It says Old Man Hawkeye. It's Venom on the front. Come on, that looks dope. I mean, it's been it's been great. I've been re reviewing. It. It's been awesome. Oh gosh. And then there's this trash. Come on, why they gotta disrespect Craven the Hunter like that, man? It's so dumb. Miss Marvel, G. Will Wilson, three, ugh, Doctor Strange, just looks. It's not a comedy. I don't understand. <laughs> Moon Girl, Devil Dinosaur, who cares? Lockjaw. Yeah, I'll probably pick that up. Well, if the first issue is good, I'll keep picking it up. Uh, Rise of the Black Panther, Doctor Doom. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, X Men Red. Don't really care. It's a nice Arthur Adams cover though. Once, once again, another book that the covers are cool, but the inside's trash. Um, Cable, I, I really want to check out the new creative team for Cable. I wonder if it's any good. This, I know it's Gail Simone, but look at this cover. I want to read this book. Um, there was something else that worried me in it too, though. Yeah, Amadeus Cho is in it. Who cares? But look at that. Domino looks sexy. I'm definitely going to pick up number one. I can't wait for that. New Mutants, I'll pick it up just because I like the classic comics. Um, and Ryan Stegman's on the art too, or the cover. Um, Exiles, meh, don't care about that. And then <sighs> X-Men Gold. Okay, J. Scott Campbell, yeah, I'll check this out. See if the, the Colossus Shadow Cat wedding is any good. Old Man Logan, nah, I don't care. Mac Diodata Jr. is only doing the covers now? Okay, okay, I don't, I don't care about that. Um, Rogan Gambit, I heard that's good. I might pick that up and trade. Legion, I picked up the first issue. It was okay. It's not that great. I don't know if I buy this. Not, oh, yeah, this is funny. Old Woman Laura instead of Old Man Logan. I thought that was funny. Um, probably don't care about it enough to read it, though. Um, X-Men Blue. Eh, don't care. A lot, it's so bland. Like, there's so many just bland covers. Like, really? Just, okay. Weapon X. This looks good. Definitely picked that up. I've been reading that. Weapon H, I'll pick up issue number one. It, I think it looks cool. A lot of people have been trash talking it though. Um, and then, yeah, then there's like some Star Wars stuff. I like the Joe Quesada art on that. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to stop reading Star Wars books. I just, I never, I always procrastinate reading them. Oh, this Marvel Select Beast is awesome. I might get that just to review it. It's so cool. Uh, but yeah, Star Wars books, I always procrastinate reading them. I have to be like in a Star Wars mood. So that's like, I'm like 50-50 on those. Yeah, and then the rest is just like trades and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's the Marvel previews for March going into May. Go check out my review of this book. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like, subscribe. Uh, tell me what you thought about this Marvel previews. Tell me what you think about Dan Slott. Uh, tell me what you think about this new Venom book. Looks interesting. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.